Well, guys, I just wanted to tell you, I think uh, in the near future, we're going to be looking at some tough times for painters coming up. So I'm going to just talk to you about some of the ways to save money on uh, doing your work. And maybe keep your quality as best you can. Maybe you're going to have to drop it a little bit to get some of the work. But, you know, let's talk about some of the things that you can do to save money, still get a good job, and still give some people a decent job. Because there's still some people want to be People are still going to want to be painting, uh, but some of them aren't going to have the money to do it. So you're going to run into a little bit more of that lately. And here's why, I think. is uh, We have an increasing interest rate right now. And also, you have those gas prices uh, going up. And, you know, those two things are taken out of people's budgets right now. So your middle class people are going to be a little tighter. And usually what happens is even the rich... You know they still do the same thing so they they do the same thing even though they don't need to they just do and they take advantage of you and if, you know and and sometimes you don't want to be in that position so usually i like to work for middle class because i think that they're uh, more worthy of paying you a fair amount uh the rich usually try and cheat you any way they can and so i don't normally work for them i do have a couple of customers that i do and I have a couple of really good customers that are very wealthy, high high, high net worth, um, that I do their houses every year. And, uh, you know, they say, you say, what? Every year I do maintenance. I go in and touch up everything, make it all look beautiful, brand new. And they pay me very well for doing that. So a couple things you can do to save money on your bid. You go out and talk to customer always. One of the things we've always done for years is start talking them into doing the eaves. And the stucco or siding the same color because uh, that will save you on cut-in time you can give them a little bit of a price break for doing that uh, that's something we've done for years but there's some houses just that you have to do uh, the stucco and eaves different colors let's talk about that like for example this house it has a three color we've got siding here that goes up into the eaves and then you've got the stucco that goes up in the eaves if you did this one stuck on these same color, it would be kind of funky. It just doesn't look right. I'd never do it that way myself. I just do it with the stucco uh, and the eaves separate. On a house like that, you could talk them into doing just a two color instead of a three, and that would save them some money. You could do that because it's a little easier to use two colors instead of three, and it's a lot easier not to do the eaves and the stuck with the same color would be much easier to do. But, you know, sometimes you're going to have to do it this way. So, one of the things you do is if you're, right now, most people are masking their whole eaves. If you watch some of my spray videos, this is where you're going to really uh, save some time when you watch me doing the eaves. A lot of times I'll spray the eaves and I will get a little bit of paint on this type of an eave here on the stucco because I don't mask the stucco off. And on this part of the house, I'll use a cardboard shield uh, and just keep it off the stucco and then go around with a brush, actually with the paint thinned down and I'll, actually my guys actually did this house last time and they masked the eaves and I, they got more paint on the stucco than I normally even do when I do it by hand. Just so you know, you can see there's a little spot in the corner there that wouldn't happen if I was doing it with, by doing it the other way. That's why I noticed that. But, um, but you go around and you just spray and get a little bit on the on the on the stucco, and then take your brush, thin down your material, and then cut in your eaves, to cut in your stucco to your eave, and it works out great. You can do a perfect job. Uh, it's as it is if you're a good brush man. If you're not, you need to work on your brush skills now because it's coming another thing you can do is now you can go with a uh, recycled paint they have one called montage I think it's called um, M-L-N-T-A-G-E and in Southern California I think they're in Glendora where they're out of but you can order it on Amazon or they also have sell it at Walmart for even less now there are limited colors to that. You you really can't water it down. It's pretty thin already, so um, you know. It, but it is quite a bit cheaper than regular paint, and that could save you money. Where you could get the job, 
you might be just a few hundred dollars away from getting the job so sometimes these little things you can do will save you enough to be able to get there another thing i do is i have all this used paint that's got half a gallon of this quart of that whatever and i'll mix all of a bunch of it together and i'll try and make a nice color and i'll use some tint to get it there so i know a little bit about tinting my own paint and that's always a good thing to know start working on that now start knowing what colors you can add to what colors to make a good color and take a bunch of your used paint that you have that's it's not used it's still good that's a brand new gallon probably right there um and then i'll start boxing them together come up with a color that's nice and neutral for an exterior and then all i have to do is maybe buy the white or the trim color or whatever and get that rental house that somebody needs done done and in inexpensive and still make money on it because i didn't have to buy anything pay anything for materials so you save those colors and you bring those swatches with you and say hey i've got these two colors here i got a, these are a special deal because they're it's good paint it's all high-end you know acrobons good paint you know that's 100 percent acrylic mix all those together make a nice paint and then say hey i can use this discounted material and work out pretty good because it's stuff i had left over from a job it really was it was left over from a job and then uh, you can give them a deal on that so basically you can let go of the masker if you have a guy doing masking that'll help you save some money on labor you can start doing your own all you need to do now is just the windows another thing you can do on your windows let's say you have windows here like this and they have wood trim around them and you know and a lot of times maybe you're covering these right now and you don't you want to save a little more materials you can actually use a shield and keep your overspray from getting on the glass i've done this many times and actually uh I've, i can get it 100 percent with no specs or anything on the window by doing it. it takes a little bit of practice uh, because you're trying to get this edge here around your wood and uh, you just let your shield in there kind of help you keep the overspray out the glass so you start using these techniques and save yourself some labor money because now you're not covering you save material money for that window getting covered you also save labor money for the guy doing it so it saves you a little bit of time i'm not saying on stucco it's easier just to cover them most of the time with them with a good masking machine they have now so keep that in mind now the thing is you might be using this good orange tape it's pretty good stuff this is uh the stuff from uh scotch it's a little bit better than the white tape you know you can use the white tape and save yourself some money there uh and just buy what you need buy a few rolls at a time and save some money on the materials there and go you know still be pretty quick with it nothing you can do to save money is you know these aren't the best brushes but they'll do and you can still get the job done if you need to buy a brush you can always run by harbor freight and get one of these it saves a few dollars it's not quite as good as some of the others but it'll get you through the job you can still do a good job with this brush and uh, again save you some money on your brushes things you want to be careful on if you're reusing your old paint make sure you use make sure you look at the tints that were in the paint and that they were all exterior so if you're doing an exterior you want to make sure it's all exterior tints that you use and you need to kind of know which ones those ones are most exterior colors are made with uh, raw umber or bc and i so uh, b black okay raw umber is here and then this is yellow oxide and red oxide i don't know where it is but those are the colors that you would want so if you wanted to just buy the tint bottles to redo some of your paints and make them try and make them with those colors don't start using chrome yellow or blue to try and make the color it's just going to fade out really quickly your customer's not going to be happy so stick with bc and i or raw umber and and also brown oxide i believe you can use that so you kind of get to familiarize yourself with those tints that are right for exterior and uh, make sure you use those properly and don't use the wrong ones because like i said it's not going to make the customer happy 
and then you won't get a referral next time but you know sometimes it's better to be eat to eat instead of being eaten all right so just a couple pointers there for you guys maybe it'll help you out through the next few months and what you want to do is start programming those things now it's not happening yet but when it's going good is when you kind of want to hone your skills get that brushing skill down start practicing not using masking on the eaves it'll save you quite a bit of money on labor and quite a bit of money on uh on materials and you know that extra fifty dollars here another fifty dollars there and we check out some of those materials now and uh, start boxing up those old paints and seeing what you got see if you can get the light colors together and then you know come up with some other light colors and make a few swatches and have that all ready for those customers when they come up uh, in the near future when you know things get a little tight it's going to happen it always does this has happened every time i've been in this business my whole life uh, there's always been dead spots in it and getting through those things and still making a profit is really what it takes to be good at this it's not just when it's good you just make all this money yeah you know i've seen guys they live this lifestyle they go out and you know it's like they're like i'm rich now because i'm making so much money and they go out and buy boats and they buy all this stuff you don't see i don't do that <laughs> okay uh i do that when i've gotten to the point where i've really really well established and i don't have to when the economy goes flat i usually make more money that's usually the way it works for me i have other things that go on so i have that kind of figured out when you're normally painting houses and stuff like that you're just not to that level so um these are just techniques that i used a long time ago to keep myself survived and it made me through some very very tough times in the 90s we had some really really hard times in painting right after the gulf war um, and right in the late 90s there was some really really tough times again and then all of a sudden it was good street for till like 2008 but i was already doing something else by that point so in 2008 i ended up making more money than everybody that i knew because i already had gotten into the stuff that i do now so anyway just wanted to share this old school stuff with you guys that are young or people that um are you know painting houses or whatever and give you a couple pointers to help you get through the next i don't know i think we're probably looking at i i think six months from now before we'll see anything that's going to really affect us but anytime you have gas prices like that and, and you know it's going to take time for that to get back if even let's say they go back up back down again in a few months just the time of them going up for this period of time has taken 400 dollars a month out of people's budgets and a lot of people that still need their house painted are going to be on the fence because of that whole reason and if you can be there and have the materials figured out to get it for less and you've got things like those techniques that you use to get it for less you could save somebody four or five hundred dollars and that'll make the difference between you getting the job and not i'll talk to you in the next one please like share and subscribe